Um, I'm here to talk about some really great original artwork um, of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and, and I'm going to be showing you the artwork in great detail um, uh, you, in this video, but if you'll bear with me. This original artwork, their watercolor paintings are being offered for sale for the first time. Um, this is artwork that would make a great gift, a Father's Day gift, a Mother's Day gift, a Christmas gift, anniversary, wedding gift, um, retirement gift. You know, it just you know, This would be a really unique, one-of-a-kind present for somebody. Or, even if just you were a great uh, Pittsburgh Pirates fan and you wanted to have a beautiful piece of art in your home or your office, this is, you know, I'd love it if you'd if, um, <laughs> listen to this video and, and I'll try and explain to you what it is that we've got. Let me give you a quick bit of background. My name is Scott Silcox and I'm from Toronto. Uh, for 16 years I owned a company called Maple Leaf Productions. Maybe you know us Canadians, we use the word Maple Leaf on everything we do, it seems. Um, and Maple Leaf Productions made and sold a variety of products that celebrated the history of uniforms. NFL uniforms, Major League Baseball, NHL, uh, college football uniforms, and did with you know all of this artwork, with these images of uniforms, is, is we made products. Um, and you know our largest product that we sold, or the product that we sold the most of, were plaque posters that you know that showed the evolution of a team's uniform. This is a large plaque poster. This was a small version of the plaque poster. This was a kind of a middle-sized version of a plaque poster. We also sold framed posters. Um, here's just a couple examples of framed posters. Um, um, so we sold frame posters that showed the evolution of the team's uniform. We also sold uh, cl clocks. Um, we sold fridge magnets. Um, this is actually our pirate's uh, set of fridge magnets, but we sold fridge magnets. We sold playing cards, you know, kind of ace, king, queen, jack, ten playing cards that, that had images on them. We sold a product called a fan frame. It was a, a great product. Um, oh, and a variety of other, you know, coffee mugs, um, mouse pads, collector plates. I think you get my point. We sold a whole variety of products that celebrated team uniforms. Now, what's my point in kind of carrying on about this? I'm, I'm trying to get the point across to you that this artwork that I'm about to show you, all of this Pittsburgh Pirates artwork, um, of which there are 16 pieces, 16 watercolor paintings. Um, this artwork, it, it's really somewhat famous. Um, I know that sounds self-serving and like I'm patting myself on the back, and I, I don't mean to, but the point is this artwork has been seen on thousands or tens of thousands of products. It's been seen on the offices of team owners, of the league commissioners, on TV ads, TV shows, on movies. Um, you'll see the, these images on a lot of team websites. You'll see them in various halls of fame. It really is somewhat famous artwork, um, you know, as much as a, you know, a piece of uh, sports art can be famous. This is, this is famous artwork that's being offered for sale. And by the way, everything that I'm explaining to you in this video can be seen at our, web, our website, our new website, uh, devoted to the sale of this great artwork. The website is www.heritagesportsart.com. Uh, now let's really focus on the pirates, because I'm, I'm presuming that's why you might be watching this video. Um, all of the artwork, um, the, the 16 pieces of pirates uniform artwork, are you know, beautifully done, very detailed watercolor paintings. Um, this is the 1909 Pittsburgh Pirates uniform, and, and I won't, I'm not going to stop at all of these, but there, there's the 1911 uniform, there's the 1912 uniform, there's a 1925 uniform, and so on. Beautiful, beautiful watercolor paintings. Um, right up to, in the case of the Pirates, um, we go right up to their uh, 2005 um, home uniform, their home white uniform. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there are 16 pieces of Pirates um, uh, artwork that's available for sale, and only 16. When we sell the 16, you know, that's it. There's no more we aren't making anymore. Um, now, let me explain how you can, you know, first of all, sorry, just before I explain how you can buy these, all of these, you know, I showed them so quickly, you're, you can see them on our website, highly detailed scans that show you the artist's signature, or any writing that the artist might have done, in some cases the artist wrote notes to the people doing the scanning of these when uh, the other products were being made, the artist might have given some instructions, all of that's, you know, visible uh, on our website, you know, the original artwork. Now, let me get to the point that I'd really like to make. You can buy this artwork one of three ways. Um, uh, and the pricing that I'm about to say applies for almost all of these 
Pittsburgh Pirates pieces that I'm showing, although there's some exceptions, and those are the years that the Pirates won the World Series, and those prices are a little higher, and I'll explain that in a second. But the basic pricing is you can buy, the first way you can buy this artwork is this is number one you can buy the raw unframed piece of art you would buy it like this we'd ship it properly packaged of course you could get it framed or mounted however you like and, and hang it wherever you would like this raw unfinished artwork is three hundred and fifty dollars that includes all taxes it includes ups shipping right to your door if you place the order today we'll ship it in the next 48 hours and it would be at your home within a week um, the second way you can buy the artwork, the second version, is what we call our classic framed version, where you would get the artwork, forgive me that this is the Denver Broncos, but I think you get the point. Um, it would have the Pittsburgh Pirates uh, original artwork in a black metal frame, a double white mat, and then there would be a little engraved plate underneath the artwork just telling the story of that particular piece of art. So this classic frame version is $425, again shipped right to your door, so that pricing includes the, the shipping to your door. So, raw artwork $350, classic frame version $425, or for $450 you can get our deluxe framed version. Again, forgive me that it's the Denver Broncos, but um, you would see it, the, the Pirates artwork the engraved plate, um, and then also a small horizontal poster that, in this case, you, you could see the Denver Broncos original art here, and then you can actually see how it was used in the poster. It's kind of a neat, you know, a neat presentation, I think. So this third one is called our, our deluxe frame version, and it's $450. Now, the only pricing that you exception to what the story that I'm telling you um, are the World Series winning years. The Pirates won the World Series in 1909 and 1925. Those particular pieces of artwork are $450 uh, for the raw artwork as opposed to $350. And then in the three great years, 1960, 1971, and 1979, those World Series winning years, the raw art artwork is $550, and then the framed versions are a little bit more. But all that pricing is on the website. You can see it, and it's there. Um, Boy, you're being great. I really feel like I'm selling Ginsu knives here. Um, so thanks for putting up with me. Um, and just I meant to just touch on the fact that if you order either of these framed versions, we custom frame these. You place the order today, we then get them custom framed, and then it would be shipped to you. And, and it typically would be kind of a two to three week period from the day you place the order until it arrives on your doorstep from UPS. So just to explain that, that, that there is a little bit of a delay because they are custom framed. Um, um, again, the great thing that I really love to drive across is that we only have 16 pieces of Pirates artwork. So you know, if you wanted to buy the 1960 uh, artwork, you'd need to move quickly because you would be the, you know, once we've sold the 1960 artwork, that's it. When it's sold, it's sold. You know, we aren't making any more. Um, um, and um, so don't delay. And again, I feel like I'm selling chamois or Ginsu knives. So at any rate, I hope you get my point. Um, one other thing that I'd love to just say to you is this artwork was painted by a wonderful lady, great artist and a wonderful person, Nola McConn. And Nola actually owns all of this Pittsburgh Pirates artwork and she's asked me if I'd help her sell them. I'm delighted to help her because of my background with Maple Leaf Productions and because Nola and I work so closely. Um, so it's, it's Nola's artwork that I'm, I'm helping sell. Now to order, um, and again hopefully this is the end of my Ginsu knife um, selling mode. To order, there's really two ways. You can go online to heritagesportsart.com and you can use a credit card. It's PayPal enabled and, and you can buy it right online. Or call me on my cell phone. My cell number is 416-315-4736. Um, call me anytime. I'd love to tell you about the artwork. I'd you can tell you some stories about the research that went into it. And um, it'd be fun to talk to you. If you're a Pirates fan, I'd, I'd love to love to chat. So please feel free to call me, 416-315-4736. Uh, <laughs> uh, so thanks very much for hearing me out on this long-winded um, video. Um, I hope you'll pass this YouTube URL, URL onto a friend if, if you think they might be interested in Pirates artwork or 
you, we have 1,500 pieces of original artwork available on the website. You know, and that's you know the Pittsburgh Pirates, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Pittsburgh Penguins, um, the college football. You know, there's 1,500 pieces of art. So if you're a fan of the NFL, Major League Baseball, NHL, college football, you're going to find something on the website that I think you might really like. Thanks very much for putting up with me through this long-winded video.